Welcome to my new series, Making Music with Linux. Before we continue, let's look at our Linux desktop. This is Fedora 14 Linux. You can download it from fedoraproject.org but you can of course use other distros like Ubuntu or Debian. In the system menu, there's a menu item called Add Remove Programs or Software, with which you can install applications from the public Fedora free open source software repositories. As you can see here, you can search for applications. I suggest you install the following three applications. QJack Control, which is an application that controls the Jack audio server, which is required for many music applications on Linux. Syn at SubFX, which is a great software synthesizer. And finally, Sec24 which is a simple MIDI sequencer application. I show you here how this works. For example, if you want to install QJet Control, type it in the name into the box and as you can see here, this is already installed. Before you can use Jack, you have to configure it. To do that, double click on the QJack control icon, then click on Setup. In this dialog, you can choose the devices which are used for audio input and output. I have selected a playback only here. and this device for output. Another important option is the uh, uh, real-time option. If this is not set, then um, check will not run with real-time privileges, which may cause problems. It's also important that your current user is in the check user group. To verify this, um, open the system administration users and groups dialog. Click on your user and then on properties and then on groups. Scroll down to see if the uh, Jack user group is checked. Also, the RT kit group, which is the real time kit, should also be checked and the Pulse and Pulse Access groups for Pulse Audio. Note that if you make any changes here that you will have to log out and log back in to the desktop. When you're finished configuring Jack Close the dialog and then click on start if any 
error messages show up, then you will have to troubleshoot Jack. There are a lot of resources about this on the net. Now we are going to start Synet sub effects. To see the connections which Synet sub effects creates. Click on the connect button. Here you can see that Synata sub effects created two outputs and the system has two inputs. You can connect them either individually by clicking on them and then on connect or you can connect them all at once like so. This is important otherwise the data will not be transferred from Synet sub FX to the system playback device. Now in Synet sub FX, um, there is a virtual keyboard that we can use to create some audio. There is also an instrument bank that you can use to select from a lot of predefined instruments like guitars for instance. Strings. Note that you can leave the dialog open um, because it is modeless. You don't have to close it. <coughs> 